Welcome back to the Crochet Crown as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the lattice hat and this is exactly what you see here. We're going to talk about the ins and outs of this particular project. It's not hard. You just have to be a little more organized than a traditional hat. So without further ado, you're going to need a four millimeter size G crochet hook in order to play. So the lattice is actually worked into the hat as you're going to crocheting. So what I've done is here is I've done a little sample here and the first color that you're going to start off with are going to be the lattice color. So the first one when you go to begin is gonna be the darker color or whatever color that you wanna do the lattice work for the overlay. Then what you're going to do then is the other color is going to be used in between. So when you look at it from the underside perspective you can see that yarn is being carried across as you're doing this and really there's two things that crocheters love. Love. They love free and they love quick. So I can give you the free element but quick is not definitely one for this one but you cannot have this look and be quick either. So it's one of those items that you just have to take your time and ride it out and actually you have a beautiful hat when you're uh, finishing this. So I'm gonna give you some tips on being able to uh, organize yourself because you are gonna be playing with two yarns at the same time of just being able to do this hat. So as I'm working on this I'm just gonna share some tips right off the bat. The whole point is to stay organized with your yarn and you're gonna notice that the pink yarn is coming in from the top of the camera and the burgundy is coming in from the left. And so what I'm gonna suggest to you is that you keep your yarn balls separate from each other. So don't put them in the exact same spot because when you need to drop yarns like so if they're coming from a different spot then what happens is that it's easier just to drop one strand and pick up the other without having to untangle it from its neighbor. So um, that's I guess the biggest tip for being able to speed your way through this particular project is keep your yarn balls organized because you'll spend more time uh, detangling your yarn if you are actually wor worried about um, doing such a, a monster. So it's not a hard pattern in order to master. It's actually really um, quite an easy one and uh, the trick is to being able to bury your yarns as you go all the way around. So let's uh, go back to the diagram. Let me explain what we're gonna be doing today and then we're gonna start right from round number one. So here's page number two. So page number two you can see that there is black um, instructions and there's blue. So these are representing the two different colors that you see. Usually what happens in diagrams is that one whole round is one color and the next round is a different color. In this case they've kept it so that the lattice work is very obvious. So when you go to start with this very color you have to start with what color that you want the lattice to be first and then this other blue here is the main color of the hat that you see that's tucked in behind the lattice work. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna follow our way through this uh, particular graph and in order to make this and it's really not a hard pattern in order to maintain and I think that you'll enjoy it at the same time as well. So grab your four millimeter size G crochet hook and we're recommending Peyton's classic wool today. Just use the equivalent yarn if you'd like to substitute. So let's begin. We're going to create a slip knot using the color that you want the lattice to look like. So I'm gonna use lemongrass right now and I'm going to either, you can either chain three or four. The pattern, or the diagram says to chain three. The instructions say to chain four. I don't think it matters too much but I would chain three just to keep it nice and tight. So one, two and three and then just insert into the beginning one and yarning over pulling through and there is the top round circle of the hat. So moving along I want you to chain up three. So one, two and three and then in the center of that ring which is kind of hard to tell because it's small is that I want you to put eight more double crochets in there. So this chaining of three counted as one of them. So there will be a total of nine double crochets going all the way around. So let's just count the chain as being one. So one, two, three, four, five, this is six, seven, eight and nine. So if you wanna double ca uh, count now is your chance to do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So once you have your nine done I want you then just a slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain three and there you are. So keep on this color and uh, we're gonna go one more of this particular color before we introduce um, the next, the secondary color of the background in round number three. So in round number two we're going to then work on the double crochet front posts. So we're gonna chain up 
two which doesn't count as anything. It's a builder. So don't worry about that as counting as anything and go to the one that's directly underneath and that's your very first one and you're gonna double crochet two times in the front post. So to do a front post you're just gonna go and wrap the hook and come in from the side of the front and back out the other side and double crochet. And I would need you to apply two of those per post all the way around. So if you have and nine posts that we did in the last round, there should be nine groups of two. So jumping to the next one, so just going in the side and out the other and put in two double crochets into the front post. I'll show that one more time. Okay, so into the side and out and two more uh, two double crochets on that. So please do that all the way around. I'll see at the end of this round. So now that I've come all the way back around, I have nine groups of two. I can see that and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet front post. Okay, so the chain two doesn't count as anything. It's a builder. So just slip stitch there. So now we're gonna move on to round number three and round number three we need to get our next color ready because we're gonna be playing with that and let's uh, show you how to do that. So let me get that color ready first. So I'm getting my secondary color ready. I'm not gonna create a slip knot. I'm just gonna leave it off to the side. I'll just make a large loop and then I'll deal with that later uh, and we'll get that secured into position. So let's uh, begin round number three. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna maintain the, the front posts that we already have and then we're gonna place in a secondary color in between the two groups of, of um, these front uh, double crochet front posts. So you're going to chain up two, counts as nothing, it's just a builder and then you're gonna put one double crochet front post in each one of the next two. But you cannot finish the second one. So that was the first one and do the second and then hold it before pulling through the final two. And what you need to do is that you need to grab your other color and you're gonna just come in from behind. So just stick it through the hole. Okay, we're just getting ourselves started and just loop it and pull through and finish that stitch with that strand. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this tail end shortly. So now the blue is ready to be your next stitch. So to do the next stitch you're gonna go in between just right where you are now and you're going to double crochet. So you're not worried about doing any of the front post double crochet with this particular color. But you cannot finish it. You have to jump back to your green. So what happens here on these kind of ideas is that this color here, the green, is the top of the next stitch. So if you are wanting a full stitch to be the same color you have to change it just before you are finished the last stitch. So the next two stitches here are going to be just front post and double crochet. So let the blue just stay in behind. Don't worry about it and then I want you to just a front post double crochet the next two but you cannot finish the second one. You have to just do it, pull through, pull through two and then what you want to do is that you want to grab up the blue and finish it. Now here's the secret. Because you are about to do these blues and these blues are just working into regular stitches, lay down the secondary color so this green on top and when you go to double crochet in between the next group of these two, so just right in between, you're not in a stitch, just go right up over top of that green and that will bury it in so you can drag it with you and again you can't finish it so just drop the blue and bring up your green again. See it's all maintaining a solid color. So the next two are front post double crochet. So the front post double crochets you can't bury your yarn underneath the stitches but you can when it's a regular stitch. So you're just gonna just loosely drag it behind you, behind. You can't finish the second one so you just drop it. Okay, so bring up your, your blue to finish that stitch and then drop the green and then right in between the two groups you just want to double crochet into the gap. And again you can't finish it so you have to just do this color. So this is how you're gonna bounce in and out of this color for this round. So I want you to do the remaining of this round and what you can do now is that you've gone long enough. I would take a darning needle at this point and I would hide in this loose end uh, at this moment so that you can get that out of your way and I'll show you how to do that next. So without going any further I want you to take the blue and I want you to hide it. So I did it the first time without doing this and I realized that it's easy to grab the wrong strand if the beginning strands are too long. So what I want you to do on the back side, just drag it in 
some fibers that stay on the back side. If the needle is showing on the front side when you go to turn it over, you've gone too deep. So just go across once, through a different path for twice, and then finally the third time. So now you safely can get rid of that yarn. It'll never fall out on you. And then you can continue to do exactly what I just showed you with just maintaining what you already know. So the next two are the front post double crochets. And the trick is just to make sure that you change your yarn back to the other color before you finish the final one when you have to do that. Okay, and that one's going into the gap so I can lay down that green, etc. So please do this all the way around. Okay, when you get all the way around the blue is gonna be your final color. It looks like there's three here. Remember the two is the builder. So just uh, keeping it looking like awesome, right? So what you wanna do is that you wanna switch the color back to green bef at the very top and then join it to the top of the beginning front post double crochet. So don't join it to the chain two join it right to the front post double crochet. So you're going to notice that you'll see a, a bit of a, a seam line then at the top of the hat but it's really not a big deal in this particular case. So let's move along now. We are going to move to round number four and round number four we're going to start splitting off these um, yellow or sorry this lemongrass a little bit more and uh, we'll be doing that next. So let's begin round number four. We're going to chain up two. Counts as a nothing. It's just a builder. And in the first front post double crochet I want you to do that and don't finish it. I want you to change over to blue when you get to the top. So the last two stitches then the last two loops make sure you pull through the blue. So what you want to do is that you want to split off these front post double crochets and you want to in the gapping space in between so not a stitch just throw in a double crochet and then change it back to green at the top so that you can be ready for the next front post double crochet. So this is front post double crochet. So in this round you're going to be switching every other stitch. I know it seems like a lot of work um, but it's awesome. So this is already blue so you're just gonna go right into the stitch, lay down the green on top so that you can bury that underneath the stitch and then switch back by the time you get back to the top. So the front post double crochet, keep that as a front post double crochet. Switching back to the blue. And in the space in between the two front post double crochets below, I want you to place in a double crochet. Okay, so the next one's a front post double crochet. And then switch back to blue. So I want you to do this all the way around. So essentially this area here where you already have is gonna be deeper than this section here as far as the blue is uh, sinking in and you're basically just splitting off the colors now. Every other one is either blue or green. So without further ado get that done and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up near to the beginning again and this round I know my friends it is a bit slow but you know what you have to get yourself started on this kind of project before you can really master it. The nice thing about it is that these spikes really kind of um, get further apart from each other so the colors are you can do more stitches without having to change as much uh, in the future but right now we're having to do quite a bit of it. So we're just gonna come into the top of the blue and before you finish the blue get it to the yellow and then you're going to join then to the top of the first front post double crochet. So it kinda looks like a circus right now, right? So isn't that awesome? So now we're gonna move on then to round number five and in round number five we're going to make the blue go even bigger. So the spokes pretty much are gonna stay where they are. They're just gonna expand down through the hat. So without further ado let's move on to round number five. So round number five we're gonna start off by chaining two. It's a builder and you're gonna come into the front post. Remember this is a builder here so it looks like it's kind of out of place but it's there and you're just gonna come into the front one, front post double crochet and the next one is a blue one so you wanna maintain that so drop it and pick up your blue and do the next one as a blue so leave your green down on top so it gets stuck underneath the stitch and switch it back to green to finish that. So the next one here, so here's the repeat pattern is that the next one is gonna be a front post double crochet and then what you want to do in the next blue is that you want to place in two 
uh, double crochets into that same one. So using blue. So you got one. So you don't have to change it. And then two. Now you gotta change it. Okay. So now bring back your green. So what's gonna happen in this particular round is that one layer of blue. So this one here will stay one. And then the next one in between will be two. So let's just quickly review that. So the next one's a front post. Double crochet using green. And this is what I was talking about if the yarn strands are coming from the same spot. So I have to just uh, if this is happening to you just untwist. or go in the other direction. And you're good to go again. So just dropping it. Change it back to blue. And now this blue one here is just one by itself. Switching back to yellow. Front post double crochet. So the yellows are always gonna be something like that. And then switching back to blue. And then next time you get blue you're gonna put two double crochets into that one using blue. So the second one you have to change at the top. Okay, so then the next row around after this what we're going to do is that we're going to put an extra one in this other blue and so therefore they'll be equal. So right now there'll be just one and then two, one and two with these spokes that are kind of separating them. So please do that all the way around. So coming all the way back around the last one we'll have two double crochets in it and before you finish the second one just switch back to green and then you're just going to join it. So keep your yarn strands to the back side of your project always so that it's out of your way and it's ready for the next time. So whenever you look at this you should see one blue and then two blue, one and two, one and two, one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So now we're gonna move on then to round number six. So round number six we're now going to switch these blues that are by themselves and we're gonna make them two and we're gonna keep the two blues also two. So let's just chain up two to begin and front post double crochet in the first one and we're gonna switch back to blue by the time you get to the top. So the ones that are sitting by themselves, the blues, you want those to be two double crochets this time. So one and two and switch the color black back to green by the time you get to the top. And then the front post double crochet in the same one front post double crochet. Switching back to blue. And so the two blues that are sitting by themselves make those also still one blue each. So this round is making everything equal. So everything takes time to be able to progressively grow when you're working on projects like this. So if you rush the process it won't hold the shape for the head. And so then you know the trick is is to make sure you can bury yarn as much as you can. So this one has two into it because it was only one before. So it has two. Switching back and then keep this front post double. So please do that all the way around and you should uh, getting it's gonna get faster for you because you're switching the colors less and you can have more uh, yarn to work with for a longer period of time. So please do that now for all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way around and there should be two blues basically in between each one of the spokes and when you go to finish this off make sure you switch back to green and then slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet. So we have one more growth round to do and the growth round what we're going to do is add an extra blue uh, one into each. So let's begin. So we're gonna chain up two front post double crochet in the first one. Remember you're looking at the, ch the builder chain. Okay and switching back to blue. So this time every time you see a blue you are going to then add a two extra into the first one of the, of the group of two. So the first one's gonna get two double crochets. So one and two. Then move to the next blue and just do one. And make sure you switch back to the green by the time you get to back to the top of the stitch. Okay, so now you've gone from two to three. So the next one's a front post double crochet using the green. Switching back to blue by the time you get to the top. So then the first one of the group of two is gonna get two double crochets. 
and then the next one is gonna get one and then you switch back. So you can see you're switching colors a little bit less often therefore it's gonna get a little quicker. So please do that all the way around for round number seven. I'm now just coming all the way back around so the last two sections here or the last section here will have three uh, blues. So the first one has two double crochets in it and then the next one has the, the, the blue by itself. Now because we're about to start something unique I need you to finish this completely off and join it to the top of the green using the blue. And I know what you're thinking, is that even right? Well what we're going to do is that rounds eight through eleven are the repeat now for the remaining of the hat. So now this is the top of the crown and so now it's gonna work up over top and we're now gonna start creating what appears to be the lattice. So the next four rounds you get an easy round and then a more complicated and then easy and then more complicated and you continue to repeat those four rows. So let's without further ado let's start on row number eight. So row number eight is the first of the repeat and it's an easy one. You're using blue so just let that green just stay in behind out of the way and you're going to chain up three which counts as a double crochet and that is part of the first front post double crochet that you have. You're going to double crochet in each one of the blues. Essentially it's one double crochet in each stitch all the way around <laughs> if you wanna really simplify it. So when you get to the front post double crochet I want you just to put in a regular double crochet right there. So you're just gonna do one double crochet in each stitch going all the way around and then join it back and uh, see me back here in just a moment and that will be round number nine. So this is round number eight just one double crochet in each. So you'll have to do this every other row going forward anyway. So without further ado let's uh, continue to do that and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm now coming all the way around and I'm in the last stitch. Okay you can see that here and then I'm just going to the join to the top of the beginning. So that was round number eight. Round number nine we're going to reintroduce the lemongrass but we need to get that uh, established first. So just chain up one and I want you to single crochet in the first two and then we're gonna get a little more complicated. So one and two but you can't finish the second one. We're gonna bring the lemongrass so just in behind just drag it up in the project. Okay so don't have any weird forcing of yarn in behind and finish that stitch with the lemongrass. So you got two single crochets. So now what you need to do is that you need to reach down to the single or to the front post double crochet here and here at the same time. So what you're going to do is wrap the hook twice and round the front post of the first one here. Remember that you're looking at a chain two builder. So in the front post just pull through, pull through two and two and keep it so that there's two loops left. Then wrap the hook two more times and extend over to the other one and go around the front post, pull through, pull through two and two. And now you got three loops left on the hook. Pull through, uh, before you pull through drop your color and bring back the blue to finish that stitch. So see, so you see it all works out. So that counts as one of the stitches here on the back. Okay, so the next stitch that was in the row that is where you are. So you want to go in it to the next one and you want to go right up over top of the lemongrass and you want to single crochet three times. So one and two so just moving along and three but do not finish the third one. Drop it, bring back your yellow and I want you to do exactly what you just did. So wrap the hook twice, come into the one that you were just at right here. Again around the front post, pull through, pull through two and two and hold it so that there's two loops and wrap again twice and go to the next one over here around the front post pull through two and two and now you got three loops and before you finish it use the blue to finish and then you're good to go and that counts as the next stitch that is in the row or in the round so there's that one. So just come to the next one but go over the top of your lemongrass to drag it underneath the stitches. So one, two, and don't finish the third. Bring back the yellow for the third and then again just doing. So you wrap twice, go back to the one that you were just at and then wrap twice. Go to the one that you're about to go to, pull through and then use the blue to finish. So now you can see that the spokes are now dividing off. So what I want you to do now is that I want you to finish this whole round just like you see it. 
So I'm coming all the way back to around to where I had started. You can see that and I'm just using my lemongrass to reach over to where I had been. I'm reaching over to where it should be the front post double crochet. Don't go around that chain two space and then using the blue to finish. Now here's the secret. So now that this is in behind what you want to do is that you have two stitches here that are blue. You have one here that's left. You can see that you had three in a row. So you wanna make sure that you still keep your counts of three blues. So just finish that off. So there's one, two and three. Just slip stitch it to the first one to finish. And keep that green in behind and we're gonna now carry it up. So round number um, what do we have now? Round number 10 is an easy round once again. You're going to chain up three which counts as a double crochet and then once uh, double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around that includes the tops of the, the front post trebles that you had been working on and so this is again another easy round. So we're going to then move on to that um, to the next one after this of course and you're just gonna do one double crochet in each going all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up to the end of round number 10. So round number 11 is the final of the repeat until you get very close to your forehead. So you're just gonna go into your very last stitch. Now here's the trick. You want to use your green to do your final. Okay, so for moving on to round number 11, use your green to finish that stitch and then just join to the top. Therefore the green is now ready to go because look where you are. You're in between two of the dipping points. So right, so the difference of the round number, um, what do we have? Round number nine and 11 is where these points start. So in round number 11 we start immediately with going into the front post trebles but then in round number eight or round number nine we were kind of partially way through it. So you just have to be conscientious of that. So moving on then to round number 11 you immediately are going to start and you were just gonna wrap your hook first uh, or sorry wrap the hook twice and then go around both of these sections. So go around both of the posts and that'll pull them together and you're going to pull through two and two and you're gonna leave your um, two onto the hook. Okay and now you're gonna wrap twice and then go into the next set over here. So go into both of them. So just slide in right behind them and pull through and pull through two and two. So you're left with your three loops back on the hook, switch back to blue and so the very next stitch that's available to you, the next three are going to be blues like you had done, had been doing all along. So just go blue blue and blue and this is the third one so switch back to your green and then it's the green all over again. So just wrapping it twice going around this section here just slide in behind both of them and that pulls them together and then wrap twice and go into the next group. And pull through two. So then therefore you have your three back on there but switch back to blue to do that. And then you're just gonna, that counts as one of your stitches. So just move to the next one. Trap your green underneath the blue to carry it across. So one, two and three. So finish it with the third one with the green. And again just wrap twice. Go into the one section here. And if you drop it, big deal. Just wrap again, try it again. and then wrap twice and go into the next one and you're gonna do this all the way around and just make sure that you finish it with blue to keep it consistent. So you can see now it's almost like creating diamonds at the top and I want you to do that all the way around for this round. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I'm just doing my last section of the front post trebles. And I'm gonna reach over to the first one. Brings it nice and consistent and then when I've done that I wanna switch back to the blue to finish. and I'm just gonna keep my green in behind. Now if you remember that there's going to, be, we started off with the green so the last three will be just blue by itself. So I want you to just let that green stay in behind. You'll, you'll get that again in the future but once you get your three just slip stitch it to the, the beginning front post treble. 
So then you can just reverse now back to round number eight. So eight, nine, ten, and eleven are the are the repeat. The only difference of round number eight when you go to do it uh, back here. What I want you to do in round number eight is that I want you to put a stitch marker in there. So it was just regular double crochets. Okay, so it's right where it was regular double crochets. Put a stitch marker in there and you need to keep doing this pattern until you get about four inches and you have to end on row number uh, nine when you go to do this. So this is row number eight so it'll be row number nine. So you look at the model's hat if you're not sure and uh, begin again. So row number eight if I was to reverse back remember it's just starting off with the chain three counts as a double crochet and it's one double crochet around in each and then round number ten we're gonna start doing the lattice work but the lattice you start a little bit after you um, begin the row. Uh, so that it's over and then the next one is double crochet and then the next one after that is starting immediately right when you start around. So um, please do that and I want you to continue this pattern so you get at least four inches done and then when you get that done you're gonna meet me back here and then we're gonna start the brim. You can try this hat on as well at any point and uh, it's actually pretty easy. So there's actually only gonna be two rounds uh, left it by the time you get to the brim and uh, you can just continue to try it on as you go. So I'll see you there and uh, good luck and I'll, let's get this hat done together. So we'll do that next. So I'm now just finishing up this area and I've done my repeats. So if you look at the model you can count it down on her head that if you count the number of diamonds down. So just go right straight down one, two, three and a half. That's what it works out to be. You can also try it on. Looks really quite amazing even in person. So what I want to do is that I wanna finish the final one here of the stitch and I wanna switch back to the yellow in order to slip stitch to the very beginning one once all over again. So I'm going to use that. So we're now going to switch off every other one. It's gonna take you a little bit of time to get around and you're gonna do only two rounds of this. So you're going to start off the first one and you're going to start off with the chain two. Doesn't count as anything and you're going to go around both of the posts that you see. So it's gonna be a front post double crochet down but you can't finish it. You have to switch back to the next color. So now just get rid of this, to, uh, move this to the back. Now the next stitch is going to be the back post double crochet. So just coming around and come into the back post of that single crochet there and then just finish it but don't go all the way. Make sure you use the yellow then to finish that stitch. So as I said it's gonna take you a little bit of time but that's what makes this hat really amazing. Usually I always find it's the brims that really set things apart. So the next one will be the front post double crochet going around the single crochet there. Again you can't finish it. You have to use the blue to finish and then the next one is in the back. Make sure that you always leave your yarn strands towards the back side. You'll regret it if you don't. So this one will be in the back. Back post double crochet and of course I have to use my yellow to finish it. And then the, this one here is the next one and again it's in the front post. Just like that. So what you're going to do is you're gonna do that all the way around so you can see where you had the middle sections of blue. You'll now have a, a yellow that will appear and then when you get all the way back around you're going to slip stitch and exactly match everything. So you're gonna do a front post double crochet on this one. The, the blue one will be a back post double crochet and etc. And you only have to do two rounds of this. So this is pretty uh, straightforward now from this point. So just play with this and get your brims done and when we come back I'll have that done. So just do this round, slip stitch and then begin to do it again. So just match exactly what you see. So if it's on the back post keep it a back post and if it's on the front keep it in the front. Make sure that the colors are the same so it's the yellow transitioning right up the top each other so it creates a rib look. So that's it for now. I will see you back here in just a few moments and I will have that done. And again leave those yarn strands towards the back side when progressing along so they stay on the back. And I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way back around. I just gotta do my last stitch in the first round of the brim and it's a back post double crochet. And then I want to switch back to yellow and join it to the top of the first one. So that is my first round. So I got it one more round to do. So you just have to match the color and the stitch. So you're gonna chain up two and keep this as a front post double crochet because it already is. And then when you get to the top of that stitch just change back to blue. And then the next one we know the blue is a back post double crochet so just switch that 
and uh, just go in there make sure the yarns are out of the way and keep that as a back post double crochet and just switch back by the time you get to the top of that stitch and then go to the next one. It's a front post. So you're just gonna do that all the way around and when you get back all the way around you're just gonna slip stitch and fasten off your yarn and then your hat is good to go. So that's it for this particular design. It's really an amazing design. Um, it's actually it's really good. I actually really quite proud of this hat. Um, you know usually I shy away from doing uh, complex tutorials just like so but uh, in this uh, manner I think that was really quite awesome and now I got a great hat to show for it as well. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. We'll see you.